Hello! Hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is just going to be some more mini braids using Kimma. And I'm just going to be showing you what I'm using and the colors. This is 613 and number 27. This is the 18 inch length, I think, or maybe the 22 inch. I can't remember. But it says so on that pack that I showed there if you want to rewind. Cut it in half and I stretch it to get rid of the blunt ends and I blended it together, just mix it, mix it, mix. And that's the product that I'm using, my Blue Magic to seal in my moisture and the Shine and Jam just for grip because I do have naturally thin hair. So if you want to see how this ends, definitely keep watching. You want your pieces to be about that length if you want them all the same. This style is similar to what I just posted. I'm going to be wearing it for a while because I like how long it lasted. And then you can do, do it this way where you take it and you loop the hair like this. You can do it like that where you will pull it through. I like to do that on the sides and in the front. Or you can just take it and do it to where it's like this. You take the hair, put your finger through that, and split it. I've shown this quite a bit on my channel, so if you just go through where I did braids, you will see it. And then you just plait it down. I want to eventually plait all of these all the way down, but right now, I'm not. Just to save time, just to get my whole hair done. We've been through quite a bit this past week. Arkansas had a tornado, and the uh, area I live in was one of the areas badly damaged. We were fortunate not to lose our home. Not a lot of damage, just minimal compared to what my neighbors up the street are dealing with. So just pray for them. We had a tree fall right here in my room on the outside of that window right here. Basically on the roof in the area above. That was cut down on Thursday, which was the 6th, I think. Today is the 8th. Yeah, and that's when our lights actually were officially turned back on. It was on the 6th. The storm came through on the 31st of March, and it came through with a vengeance. It tore up. So just look it up. Let's look up Arkansas Tornado, and you will see all the carnage. It's quite bad. Like the park. That we go to a lot will be closed for a while. One park is closed indefinitely. It's been used for debris and trees. There's trees all down everywhere out there still. Because most people are not able to live in their homes right now because of it. Like some people are still without power. It's going on week two. And I remember during the ice storm, the same thing happened. We had no power. Power was off for two weeks, and this was in 2000. Me and my oldest actually got stuck in that storm. I was working at Chick-fil-A. I didn't have a car, so I took the bus. And it was predicted to come through, like, later. We didn't make it home, guys. I left my house at... I think we was able to pick our checkups like after two, something like that if you were off that day. So I went and did that. I didn't get home till like seven o'clock, eight o'clock. And that's after leaving your house at like 12 something. So we was gone basically all day because we were stuck. And then the city bus couldn't take us up the hill. So she was three, I think. 
and quite small, so I had to tow her eight blocks because the snow was like three feet, so it was she couldn't walk in it. Oh, that was horrible. I thought we were not going to make it home. Maybe we're going to freeze, but we made it. And remember, cell phones weren't a big thing back then. I definitely was given a cell phone. Like, her dad was like, nope, you need a phone. So he bought me a phone. And I learned how to use the Joker. But yeah, we didn't have any casualties from this tornado. One person had a heart attack, but they don't know if it's due to the storm. So, yeah, a lot of cleaning up to do. Like I said, minimal damage for us, but like back this way, pointing like the back. And it's like up the street, people have no roof on their house. There's a car around the corner. Looks like Credible Hawk bashed it down. Like it's bad. Like it's just balled up. Like somebody took it and went that and threw it. I'm oh like, goodness. So, if you've never been in a tornado, there's no way you could prepare for it. So many people got caught in that thing. And it lasted for. 35 or 34 miles and it was a EF3 almost a four they were still doing the data on it to see what category but it was it was a big one this one lady was like at her doctor's office and I don't know what made her try to hold the door but her and her husband almost got sucked up in that thing on live she was recording it I'm like you need to run and duck for cover another lady had to get out of her car because she got caught up in it as soon as she got out of the car a tree falls on it and like she wouldn't have made it with that tree another guy said he got caught up in it because he was going to turn one way that he normally go but some told him to turn the other and it came right past. And we were at work when this was happening. And they had us in the basement for like two hours almost just to be safe. A lot of people had left to go get their children because they were just missing school. And I'm like, I think your kid would be safer at school opposed to being out and about. So I did not leave. Something was just saying don't leave. I didn't and I'm kind of glad I didn't. Because if we would have came home, we would have been caught up in that. We would have been caught. I had no idea that it was coming this way. And when they were talking about it, I was like, oh, I'm not even thinking about the area I live in. Like, it was like, it's headed over that way. I didn't even think about my house and think about anything. I was just worried about people that was around me and my sister. She works with me. My daughter works with me. My mom, I was worried about them. They were all kind of barricaded off. And then my one sister was at home by herself. She was quite scared. People just kind of scattered about because nobody, like I said, you can't prepare for that. You got to go on about your day. You could stay home, but I'm like, still, even if you're at home, you cannot prepare yourself. I had one neighbor over here say they couldn't make it to the storm shelter, so they had to kind of turn around and go back in the house. Just imagine a tree flying at you. There's like this gigantic tree right outside of this window right here on this side. It's pointing right at my house. I mean, it's pointing right at it. Whole thing is lifted up out of the ground. And it's a humongous tree. I mean, take maybe three, maybe four people to get away all the way around it. 
So I would say maybe three people. With your arms hooked, you know, together or whatever. It's pretty big. Like right there. Pointing right at my house. So I'm very fortunate. I'm very traumatized. We've been through quite a bit. Like we weren't able to stay at home. We were away in a hotel since that Saturday. I said we got to come home that Thursday, you might as well say. We got our stuff back in like that Wednesday evening. But officially it was back that Thursday. And then they were still having to like mess with the light. So every time it went off, I got traumatized. You know, being in the dark for that long is very traumatizing. And we can't do anything because I'm all electric, so. Definitely was an experience, I can tell you that. I should say is, because it's still happening. Like, we're just dealing with the aftermath. Like, all the cleanup, debris cleanup, and FEMA for people that need it. I'm thankful that I have insurance. And my insurance is doing what they are hired to do. And I give you such a hard time during this catastrophic event. So many people lost their homes, like, homes are just gone, y'all. So definitely be humble and don't think yourself as being better than the next person because in a blink of an eye, your life can truly change. So what I'm going to do now, just continue to braid my hair and watch Lincoln Heights, one of my favorite shows from back in the day. Well, I won't say back in the day, but... Like in the mid-2000s. It's really good. It ran for four seasons. So you should watch it. It's on Hulu. I don't know when they put it on there. But I was kind of up last night doing my hair. And needed something to watch. So. Hello. I am all done with my hair. As you can see. I have it up in a bun. This is actually... Day number six. It's been six days since I finished my hair. I started it last weekend. And today is Friday. And this is how it looks. I did this style before using different hair. But this is the result of the camera. I said I enjoyed that last style so much. I wanted to do it again. There's some that I still need to break down. Probably. I kind of stopped, to be honest. Once I had a full head, start braiding. So I said I was just going to go back in and finish these as I saw fit. Not too long. They're hitting me about right here. Right at the bra. Or the bust, and they will be made back. I am five feet even, so my hair always appears to be longer than and maybe on the next person. Now, let me zoom in, give you a close up of what we're looking at. This is how it looks. Not too much new growth or anything, and there's so many different types of styles you can wear. Pull it back. So many different types of styles you can wear with this. You can definitely do it like this if you want. I'm not a middle part type person. You can pull it back like this. Something like that if you wanted to. I probably would wear it like this. But I try to find styles that frame my face. I prefer the deep side part. So I'll always give myself a pretty decent 
amount to do that with. So I will do this, just take them over, and the hair is curled. So you can just kind of feather it back like so if you were to wear it down. Very sexy, sultry, whatever you want to call it, because of how it falls. You can do that. Or you can do the other side. It depends. Sometimes I like the left, left side, like so. And I will do the same over here. So let it kind of find its place and fall. Sometimes we just have to tuck it like that and wear it like wear it like this. And I wanted more of the 613 to show than the number 27. Especially towards the front. So you may want to consider that if you plan on doing this style. But with me, I'm just going to put it back to the side that I prefer. Which is my left. Maybe your right. But I prefer it to look like this when I do wear it down. Outside of that, I will just normally probably do a plethora of different styles. I may do French braids buns, ponytails, whatever I feel like. I will definitely suit. You can do that. Give it a cute little pony. Look like this. This is what I'm looking out. Like that. A little standard basic ponytail. Well, just like that. It's cute. It's a way to wear it. But also do just like this hair so much. Really easy to do. Very simple. Like you don't have to worry about parting. This is what's called pick and drop. Pick it up, braid it, drop it, go on to the next one. You do like a little ponytail like this if you want, or even something like this if you want. But me, I'm gonna put it back in my little what, babe? You don't know how many candy? No. Put it back in my messy bun. Like this. I prefer to wear it like this because it's out of the way. Looks so washed out. I prefer to wear it like this because it's out of the way. Am I that bright? But anyway, yeah. It's out of the way and it's cute and it's fun. I received so many compliments on it. I received so many compliments on it. Someone told me today that my outfit actually matched my hair because I had on this kind of beige little this this dark shirt and a dark skirt and my dark hair the beige and the brown i was like whoa i am jail but let me know what you think if you like this style what would you rate it would you wear would you not wear would you do another color like i said i know i had these in my previous video or not was it yeah previous videos because it's been a while since i posted um there's a lot been going on as i mentioned earlier we're still cleaning up from the tornado from march 31st and my neighborhood is still not my neighborhood it's gonna be a while i would say maybe a year or two if not three or four before things get back to normal especially one of the major parks that we utilize it's going to be definitely a bust this spring and summer um like i say right at easter no easter egg hunt things like that that we normally have but that's okay they did redirect it somewhere else but we did not make it to it because we were still like just trying to come back down from all of that but down there still looks the same you know, even though it's six days later from when i previously started my hair it's still the same and today is april the 14th April 14th, it was March 31st, it's now April 14th, 
So, yeah. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm forever grateful that my home is still standing, as you can see, because I'm in it. Damage is right out here, right outside of my window. We will have someone out to look at that next week. So, see how that goes. But, once again, thanks for hanging in there. And I'll try to get back on my normal schedule. But, like I said, I can't promise anything because I'm just super busy. And then I'll be tired. So, yeah. And then I'm lazy when it comes to my hair sometimes. I'm just going to be honest. That's why I do styles like this. So, I do no it touch the hill for like a while so this may be in again last brace we're in for seven weeks i'm gonna probably try to shoot for that again but just come back and show different styles and just do some different things if i feel like it if not i will see you when i see you whenever i upload whenever that may be Peace out. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this zaniness from Shauna B. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. Peace.